I think it's very obvious that you've heard enough about the statistics in Big House Creed. I think it's wonderful that you have heard his players indicate all the wonderful things that came about as a result of their association with Clarence. I came to North Carolina about the same time that Big House did. I came to Central and he came to Western. And I would like to have you know and recognize the individual that he and I talked about so many times on our trips and even in connection with the Olympic program. Because as President Emeritus of that program, I know how much he contributed to success we had both at the Pan American and Olympic Games. And so Clara, I'd like for you to stand up and face this audience so they can recognize all that you've heard today is largely attributed to what you did and the family. And I know you would you would read the book and the statistics, but on one occasion, Big House and I were at Harvard University, and we were listening to Conan, the president, who's an icon in the Ivy League. And both of us, together, almost at the same time, said, isn't it wonderful to hear this great educator summarize what we are all about as coaches? And Conan's statement was, there are more teachable moments in athletics and sport than any other discipline in Harvard. And I think that is true for the rest of the institutions. Big House and I share a simple philosophy together. It is probably framed the best in Invictus, which he and I talked about as late as two weeks ago. And we sat at the same table. That on the night it covers me black as a pit from pole to pole, I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. And in the fell clutch of circumstance, I've not winced the crowd alone. None of the bludgeoning of chance, my head is bloody, but I'm not. And so it matters not how straight the gate, or how Paul and push things off to my soul. I will be the master of my faith. I will be the captain of my soul. And Clara, all of us here, for you and the family, and all that you heard from the immediate family, believe that Big House did. You made his philosophy stand up and be true. Thank you very much. Gaines reached the ultimate pinnacle of basketball success as he was inducted into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. Dr. Leroy Walker, longtime friend and colleague of Coach Gaines, shares his thoughts on Big House. It's not often that a colleague can judge his actions and his behavior by saying, I wonder what, how Clarence would have done that and what Clarence would have said. He also made me a better person. I began to think of him more as a teacher, certainly a great coach, but a teacher. 
because that's the way he taught basketball to his players. Uh, but also a humanitarian. He did many great things in the community, and I think Winston-Salem was a much better place because uh, Gaines was there. And our friendship has grown uh, almost each decade uh, more and more in that vein other than just in basketball.